Hey guys, John over here, back in another video, and today we're back here in Cardus with Raccoon. So yet another video, uh, this is going to be a Core V series video. So yes, we are back. And uh, yeah, so the, uh, the series is going to be obviously like this. It's going to be every two or three weeks we're going to have an episode. Just because of school and stuff, you know, I'll just focus on that. But uh, we are back. I'm actually on my uh, uh, PC this time rather than my old laptop but um yeah so pretty cool though nonetheless uh let's get started with this review real quick so uh the card i'll be reviewing it's pretty cool honestly it's probably not a ma not many people know about it it's from a french brand and um yeah it's also with a season car it was a part of the season and that, of course, is going to be the Renault uh, RS1 or something. Let me find the actual name. Renault RS, RS1. Yeah, so this is the Renault Sport. Yeah, the Renault, Renault Sport RS01. Uh, so this thing was $400,000, apparently, in real life. And it's actually really nice honestly i really like this car and obviously with these reviews we're obviously getting fully upgraded and we're not so, except for the drive train yeah this is actually super fast as well and it's really really nice looking i really love this car cool and um yeah so like i said this was a season car and yeah so there was also a wrap for it so this was a actually the car itself was uh I forget what season. I think it was part of the season with the uh, 499P, which I don't actually remember which season that is. Also, they removed all the barriers, which is kind of weird. Uh, yeah, they removed all the barriers. But anyways, um, so yeah, there's a wrap. This one was at, like, I don't know, 1,500 trophies, and the car itself was at, like, 900, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, pretty nice, though. I really like how it was out the wrap, though. It's kind of nice. And, um... Yeah, it looks really cool nonetheless. I mean, it's obviously a race car, so yeah. And uh, the rear end, obviously, super aggressive. You can see the climb diffuser and the super nice looking front end, honestly. This is a really nice front end, and I think that uh, it's kind of um, underrated. This car is really underrated, but uh, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get started with this uh, review. It's probably gonna be really quick. Just because I have uh, some stuff to do, I'm just trying to get this video out for you guys. But um, yeah, also the Jeff pack is on sale for 600 Robux. If you guys didn't see the last video, I'll link that at the. Uh, uh, actually, no, it'll be on my channel. But yeah, you can probably find it. It's from the Jeff Fest event, so uh, make sure you check that out. Uh, but right off the bat, acceleration it didn't launch very well, but um. Acceleration is actually pretty good as it slowly picks up speed, and that's actually pretty quick. So 11.465. I'm actually gonna pull up my document real quick, and every uh every entry in this will be uh accurate. Also, I have to I have to go over the stats real quick. So uh, give me uh one second. Uh, so this was 11. Point Four six five. All right. So this was a season season car and the price. So let's actually go over the stats real quick. So this thing is actually pretty good. So fully upgraded, two hundred forty miles per hour, handling eight point one, drive turns rear drive, sixty six sixty six thousand pounds of dealerships, two thousand eight hundred twenty eight per mile, and valued at nine hundred ninety nine thousand. So almost a million dollars. Which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so I'm actually pretty curious to see how this will perform on the circuit race. This does actually have a wing, which I took off because honestly, I think it looks better without the wing. But uh, man, let me put the wing on for you guys so you guys can see. And honestly, I mean, it's pretty nice with the wing, but I honestly really like it without the wing for some reason. I think it just looks so much more clean and all of that. But let me know what you guys think in the in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know if you guys prefer the wing or without the wing. Personally, I prefer with the wing, but uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think. I know it's really, 
popular among the car community to have big wings on like these race cars, but honestly, I think this looks absolutely amazing without the wing. Obviously, spoilers in this game don't actually affect any um, performance, so it doesn't really matter whether I have it on or not. It won't affect the lap times. Um, so, yeah, I just had to say that before you guys come come at me in the comments saying uh, I probably would have got a faster time, which would have been very unlikely. Um, but yeah, this thing's actually pretty quick nonetheless, honestly. I think this thing is uh, really fun to drive, and it actually takes corners very well. And the acceleration is decent enough that it can blast out of corners with a, with a moderate speed, you know. So, yeah. Also, um, I, like I said, this the series will definitely slow down. But um, trust me, it, it'll it'll be worth the wait for each episode. Because, well, I don't know. I don't know about that. But uh, it's not particular. Oh, my keyboard just glitched like crazy. Uh, but anyways, the uh, series, like I said, will slow down. It's not going to be uh, as appealing to you guys anymore, but it'll only be like this for another, I don't know, maybe five or six months. After that point, I probably will start picking up uploads again, but we'll see about that. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, but right on third lap, you're going to a minute and 20, which is pretty good. Um, and I think that this thing is very, very, very fast. And it looks super awesome, man. I super, I actually really love this car. And the wrap is actually super nice as well. I can show you guys that after. Um, but yeah, I, I really do like it with just the body color though. But the wrap is not bad. It's actually really, really nice. Um, actually, you know what? If I can just put it on now real quick for you guys. Boom. So yeah, it's a really nice. Uh, so Renault is a French company. So uh, yeah, a French uh, car company so uh, they make regular cars but they also have this uh, division where they call it Renault Sport which is just like their race cars and sports cars and stuff so it's just a blue with uh, uh, red and white stripes down the I don't know like mid engine thick and this is a mid engine car I don't actually remember what uh, engine this is but it does sound pretty good in game and it also might look like it has active aero because you can see there's a cutout and stuff but it's not an active air car, it's just, uh, it, it was meant to have the, uh, the massive carbon fiber wing, you know, so, that's why. But, I mean, visibility in the interior is actually super good as well. And, um, yeah, for being a rear-wheel drive car, it's actually quite, uh, quite snappy for, uh, and actually, it takes corners just so well. It feels like an all-wheel drive, uh, car. And I've been wanting to review this one for quite some time now. So, um, you know, I think that this is uh, one of the cooler reviews. And just like that, that is actually a really amazing time, you guys. So, yeah, also, if the recording's a bit laggy, uh, I apologize. But, you know, I can't really do much about that. So, best lap 34.7. So, let's put that to the chart. And the total time is actually really good. 3 minutes and 4 seconds, 0.5. So, that is really good. And um, I think that uh, it is an incredible car. Uh, give me a second. Uh, so it's all right. So. Uh, like I was saying, super amazing car. I absolutely love this thing. Um, one, I mean, it just looks super, super awesome. And two, uh, and two, it is just absolutely fast for what it is. I mean, it was free. I'm pretty sure it's on the free side of the uh, pass. I don't actually quite remember. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see what season it is from uh let me just check real quick so okay so this was from season uh okay i don't oh yeah season six with the 499p so pretty cool but yeah um pretty cool car though if you guys do have this make sure to use it and uh 
Yeah, it's awesome. Honestly, I really one of my favorite cars in the entire game. And uh, and yeah, so yeah, it's probably wrap up today's video though. It performed extremely well. So um, if you guys do have it, make sure to use it. It's a really underrated and very understudied car as well. So nobody will expect this to be as good as it actually is. Um, yeah, so it's probably gonna wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button, tap that bell notification icon, subscribe to notify your first new video or go live. Quick recap, we reviewed the Renault Sport uh, RS01 from 2014. And yeah, this thing is super cool. It's super fast, underrated looking. And it looks just, it's underrated in terms of performance and looks. And it looks absolutely awesome. And it was also free um, back in season six. So if you guys do have this, make sure to use it. It is not coming back as it is a season vehicle but if you guys do have it make sure to use it i mean it's pretty cool and yeah it's actually one of my favorite cars in the world it's really really like understated and nobody knows about it to be honest so that's why it's one of my favorite cars but um yeah so uh like i said sorry about this video being so short i just have other things to do so i'm just trying to get this video out for you guys but um yeah so that is probably going to wrap up today's video. But on that note, though, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.